Hello friends. It is September 2nd Saturday evening and you are listening Khan Baba. Welcome everyone. Whenever you are turned in from and we love you and we are glad you are here. We look forward to having a great call tonight. So let's start the today information. I have always believed the dinar can rise in value significantly but it's not going to happen overnight. If the dinar is going to rise it will rise gradually as a result from the success and growth of Iraq's own economy, private sector investments and of course an increase in their GDP. In order for that to work Iraq needs to make the dinar their main currency in Iraq and implement their new securities law and they can begin to float the dinar. Now what we believe we have is ability to move forward with our notifications on the 1st of September. However, it could be that we're notified Friday or Saturday, but it looks more like Friday with a start of exchanges to be on Saturday. Things can happen even over Labor Day weekend. At least that's what we're hearing that we can get started. The good news is that we should be notified. Friday after markets close this thing is looking like we're finally reaching the end of what we've been waiting for. Iraq rises to 49th in global economies ranking for 2023. Iraq has climbed to the 49th position in the list of the world's largest economies for the year 2023, a notable advancement from its 52nd rank in the previous year. As per a report by the International Monetary Fund, IMF, Iraq has secured the fourth spot among Arab countries for the second consecutive year. This monetary reform is taking the IQD to places of international affairs that are no longer sanctioned. The IQD they say will be king as the USD steps back in the banking structure of Iraq and now in the whole Middle East. Then Alak caps this report by saying we are increasing out capital. What do you think that means? That means they are going to increase your currency count with new lower denomination notes. Doesn't get any better than that. Iraq American judicial negotiations to extradite those accused of theft of the century. What's this business about this 1132 that Alak mentioned? Alak is the central bank governor. He said the official exchange rate for the Iraqi currency is 1132. A lot of people are going, well that's not true. The fact remains he said it is the official rate of the Iraq dinar but it's not on their website. I'm not making it up. I'm not giving you accusations it's proved. Tax authority saying getting things in place to never have another crime of the century. Security and stability. That's how you're going to get your new exchange rate. Very positive news about appointment notifications possibly being released. A banker was told to have all his trained exchange personnel at their exchange locations starting Wednesday and forthgoing. About $1.30 based on all the math that we have done, that many have done, would be the cheapest near rate that they can get away with but then again they won't be able to achieve the final value that they want if they come in that low. Thank you.